G'day and welcome to A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and welcome to the University of Queensland. This place is absolutely spectacular. Honestly, one of the most beautiful campuses in all of Australia. Let's take a walk around and talk about what this place is all about, what you can study here, how it ranks, what it's like to study here as a student. And by the end of this video, you should have a much better idea about whether or not UQ is the place for you. Let's get started. The well, University of Queensland was founded in 1909, which actually makes it the uh, fifth oldest university in Australia, and certainly the first in Queensland. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, got a lot of sandstone all around the place. And it's one of what they call the sandstone universities, the group of eight institutions, which is collectively both some of the oldest universities in Australia, as well as um, the most prestigious, research intensive and well ranked. So UQ, group of eight institution, means that there's a lot of opportunities here, yeah. both study wise, extracurricular, um, and definitely prestige. Seriously, this place is absolutely bananas. Honestly, there's, there's nowhere like this in any university in all of Australia. This extraordinary courtyard space, sandstone buildings everywhere. Like you have this feeling of being, uh, I don't know, in like one of the most prestigious universities in the entire world. Just because you have so much space everywhere, the campus is magnificent, so much history. Pretty, pretty remarkable. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is like the old biological sciences library, um, which is now basically just like a collaborative learning space for students. So you can basically come in here, hang out and study. They've also got um, desks here for you to uh, engage with like the student employability section, the global learning experiences section as well. So they've done a really good um, job with this space, like little learning pods, lots of places to collaborate. And personally, like I really love universities that are focused on the student experience. Um, where you've got plenty of computers, plenty of like places just to chill out, get your work done, meet with people, um, you know, work on projects. And uh, from what I've seen in there, like they've done a really good job. So, thumbs up QQ. One of the things about this institution is that it is very, very large. Something like 52 to 55,000 students. Um, it is a research intensive institution, which means a lot of those students are actually postgraduate. So at the time of filming, um, there's about two thirds of students who are undergrads, so about 35,000, and then 15, 16,000 students studying postgrad. So what does that mean in terms of your study experience? Well, it definitely means that you're gonna be studying people who are, with people who are doing active research. So a lot of professors here doing active research, publishing, you're gonna get really current knowledge. Um, also means that the university focuses heavily on its research programs, its postgraduate programs. So if you're looking to do higher degree studies, this could be a place for you. Well, let's talk about rankings because the University of Queensland obviously ranks extraordinarily well. Um, if you're looking at uh, Australian universities, typically ranked in the top five, even higher than that, sometimes in the top two or three institutions in the entire country. And if you look globally, um, UQ ranks generally in the top 50 and certainly in like the top 60 to 80 institutions worldwide, which puts it in the top percent, half a percent of institutions across the entire world and in some very elite company. Now, of course, with rankings, what you need to remember is that every institution is completely different. So um, some universities might have an exceptionally high overall ranking, but in that particular discipline that you want to study in, it might not be so strong. So always dive into the detail of the rankings to make sure that in the area where you're looking to study, it actually performs well. Um, you can do that by going to the, university, uh, to, to the Quality Indicators of Learning and Teaching um, website, the QILT. Um, edu.au website and on this site you can actually find information um, from the Australian government 
about how universities perform in all of the subjects, discipline, areas that they teach. And this isn't just like kind of made up information, it's actually information that's been taken from students who've studied right here. So their experiences, whether they were happy, whether it got them a job at the end, um, you name it, that information is up there. So the Quilt website is absolutely essential. Now on top of that, UQ, um, if you look Australia-wide in some, some of the specific discipline areas, has ranked number one consistently in areas like vet science, um, environmental science, and uh, business administration, so business studies as well, across a wide range of other disciplines. So this institution really does um, rank very highly, but always look into the detail, depending on what subject you're looking to study. Isabella and Sophie, guys, Hi. thanks for Hi. chatting. That's all right. Awesome. So tell me what you guys study. Isabella, what do you study here? Um, I study clinical exercise physiology. Nice. I study commerce and I'm majoring in accounting. Great. And what do you guys, what's it like to study here? I mean, I walk in here and I'm just like, wow. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Like the facilities and everything here are just like out of this world. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome. What, um, what do you like most about studying at UQ? I do like how it's a bit further away from the city, so you kind of are more in this tight-knit community. And so everyone kind of just comes here and studies all together instead of having to mingle with you know everyone else in the city and it yeah. gets a bit hectic. Here it's a bit more relaxed and you actually can focus more. Awesome. Personally, that's what I feel. Yeah, I feel like the environment here is like, like you walk in and you're like, oh my God, like there's ev literally everything you could ever mm. want here for a uni, I think, yeah. Amazing, and so what's the vibe like on campus? I mean, this is obviously amazing, there's people yeah. chilling out over here. Yeah. So relaxed, like literally everyone, everyone gets along, it's like, it's a pretty good time, mm. yeah. What about in class? So what about classes? Classes are, are good for you? So you guys are in different, yeah. very different areas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the classes are pretty good. I, we're kind of like, I, all of my classes are pretty much compulsory, so you're kind of forced to, you know, make friends and everything, and that's good, because everyone, you'll know everyone, you know, in the future, which would be really good as well. Mm. Yeah, and the, like, the content that they go through is really good. They make sure everyone understands it before they go on to a next topic or subject, which is really helpful. Mm. What, um, was there something that surprised you? Because I'm not from Queensland. Mm -hmm. um, was there something that surprised you when you came here? So something that you'd heard about UQ, which turned out to be true or not true? The whole elitist kind really? of thing. I don't, well, I was kind of a bit skeptical about coming here because I've heard about, oh, you know, it's one of, ranked one of the best unities, uh, unis like throughout the world. And I don't, everyone, it's it really just a big community at the end of the day of everyone, you know, trying to achieve their best, mm. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like I'm not a number here. Mm. Like everyone does really, um, kind of help you and make sure that you're understanding it instead of thinking okay you're coming in do your degree and get out like they give you a lot of opportunities to help you through the end of your career like they have a lot of internships that they offer and through each faculty I know they have like a monthly um, monthly email they send out saying what's going on in the faculty so if you want to do something more outside of classwork you can do that which is really good. Are you guys involved in clubs, societies, extracurricular oh, stuff? What they else have do you like, do? We do a lot of sport, so we've done like netball, and I know we'll get into more in the future, because I'm first year, so I'm still trying to adjust to, you know, cool. the whole, all the stuff out of high school, but you know, yeah, definitely join more clubs. Yeah. Sophie? Uh, I do social netball. Nice. I've done that for about one or two years. I'm in my second year now. Uh, I've looked at a few internships that the Bell faculty offer, so that's the business, economics and law faculty that yep. I'm in. Uh, they have a lot of market days and things you can sign up to to s promote the faculty that you're in, which is really good. Uh, yeah, they never make yeah. you feel alone here. You're no. always a part of something. Yeah. yeah. Have you kind of come across anyone who's who's been struggling and the sort of support oh, that they've been 100%, given? 100%, yeah, yeah. A lot of my friends, they have a really good counselling service here where you're allowed to go to 10 free ones. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, they're booked up like all the time, but like they're always there's always someone you can go to if you're struggling, you know, whether that's the course coordinator, your tutors, your prac leaders, people who have done the subject before, there's just there's always support, yeah. I've had some really good experiences with tutors. I was struggling in one course and I went up to her and she gave me all the notes for the entire subject and said read through these, focus on these ones. So they do really help you if you go out and reach for help. Tell me now tell me like facilities on campus, like are the libraries good, study spaces? Yeah. So so many, like they're everywhere honestly. You'll you'll always always find a place to study. Best place to eat? 
Oh, food court. Spent so much money yeah. there. <laughs> it's dangerous. Like, is it expensive? It, is it expensive? Yeah, it's expensive. I try to bring my own food, but oh, really? it is for um, me. <laughs> What's it called? The UQ Union food. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's quite good. cheap. Okay. Like you can get a good sandwich and they understand chips the students like there. I think six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. pretty good. Hundred percent. And anything else? Um, you know, somebody who's coming here or who might be watching this video, um, like any sort of inside tips, like places they should check out, look at that sort of thing. The mission, mission building. building. What's that? Best study space. Yeah. Oh. It's the one over there. It's so right what? in the corner. Right in the corner, near the... That big tall stand sign Yeah, thing. the yeah. big tall one. It just has levels and levels. It's always quiet. Not a lot of people really know about it. Uh -huh. Best study space. You get to look out a window as well. Like, it's yeah. good. Awesome. It's good, yeah. That's amazing. And last thing, any, any, anything else that you would tell people who are like thinking of coming to UQ? do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I don't know I was at QT before I came here and while I love QT it's just so it's like just traveling into the city every day and having to deal with all that stuff too much when I came here it's, it's a wide open space you have spaces to go when you're not you know mm. studying and stuff like that it's so easy to find friends and cafes and everything the social life is so good and the parking seven dollars a day <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> Which good. Is cheap better than the city yeah 100 percent so so like are you guys far from here like do, from what you know, is it hard to find somewhere to live near here? Is it hard to get here? It's definitely not hard to no. get here. Literally two buses and I'm yeah. here. I'm pretty lucky, cool. yeah. Definitely. There's a lot of buses that so come much in public here. And trains as trains well. Trains as well, yeah. yeah. It's good. Where's the train go? Uh, to Wong? Park Road. Park Road. Oh, but okay. it can go to Tawong, like whatever, yeah. okay. whatever line you get. Yeah, you can pretty much get here. Amazing, guys. Hey, thank you so much That's for all right. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, do you have any questions or comments about what it's like to study here? Do you study at UQ? Please hit me up in the comments and tell me about your experience or if there's anything else you'd like to know, hit me up and I will definitely get back to you. The well, university is comprehensive. Pretty much whatever you want to study, you can study here. Business, economics, law, medicine, humanities, social sciences, exercise, um, the list goes on and on. Languages, you can really study just about everything here and once again like depending on what it is you want to study you may want to dive into the details about the student experience and all of that you can find on the quality indicators of learning and teaching website which once again down below university's got very well established student union uqu um, and this just gives so many access, access to so many opportunities for students like squillions of clubs in this place societies and uh, phenomenal extracurricular opportunities at this institution. The institution's really focused heavily on employability, making sure people have access to things like internships, overseas study opportunities, scholarships. Um, the university's just done an absolutely phenomenal job in really focusing on the student experience. I mean, check this out. Students, students everywhere. And it's like, this place has got an amazing vibe. Amazing. I'm quite blown away. If this video has been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That really helps me out as a video maker. Just allows me to make more videos like this to help out more people deciding which university might be right for them. Thanks very much, hit subscribe. Well, I've had an absolutely extraordinary morning here at the University of Queensland. Totally blown away by this place. The absolutely exceptional attention to student spaces and opportunities. Beautiful Parkland campus. I mean, this place is incredible. Of course, it's an institution that ranks incredibly well. Doesn't sound like a whole lot of downsides to me. I guess like every big institution, maybe sometimes getting things done here might be difficult, but no one I've spoken to so far today has really highlighted that as a huge problem. So it sounds like UQ is kicking a whole lot of goals. So, on Rob's A Life That Travels scale, I would give UQ five stars. And in fact, I'd actually go further and say that, you know, I've visited basically every university in the country, have worked in higher education for something like two decades. And UQ, I'd put this like top five places that I would want to come and study. That's a big call. Anyway, great day. Whatever you're getting up to, I hope is a good one. Hit me up in the comments if there's anything else you would like to know about UQ. And I'll see you next time on Life That Travels. Thanks for joining me.